Hi guys, hope you are doing great. This is the second video of my Angular 17 tutorial series. Previous video, I talked about what is Angular, introduction to Angular, what it provides, what we can build with Angular and how to install Angular in order to create a new project in our system. And this is the project I created in my previous video. In this video, I will specifically talking about the folder structure and files, what each file is doing over here, which is created by default when we create a new Angular project. So let's start off with the files from the bottom so this is the tsconfig.spec.json file dot spec file refers to the unit test so all the configurations we have added over here are specifically related to the unit testing this jasmine is the framework which is being used uh, in order to run unit test if you don't have any understanding about unit test i will talk about that uh, this is not uh, belonging to the actual development uh, but this is how we test over uh, application which is built in angular and the uh, unit testing is a general concept is not specific to the angular so uh, we don't need to modify this so this is the configuration for all the typescript as i explained you in the previous video that all the angular projects uh, are built using the typescript uh, typescript is necessary if you don't have any understanding about typescript then i will be explaining each and every step that I will be taking uh, to explain you uh, how we can write uh, TypeScript in order to create applications using Angular. We don't need to modify that. When there is a need of modification in these props uh, of this file, then I will come back to this. So this particular file is mainly for serving the different main files which are by default created by Angular. We don't need to modify these files as well uh, because this file you can see that uh, it is serving the server.ts file main.server.ts and the uh, source slash main.ts file and I'll come back to these files what these files are doing currently we don't need to modify this so these three files are specifically related to TypeScript now let's come to the server.ts file this file is specific to server side rendering if you remember from a previous video when you create a new angular project it asks you whether I want to enable server side rendering or not I said yes to that and that's why it created this file and all the configuration and all all the engines it has added is specifically belonging to the server side rendering currently we don't need to modify that but obviously when we have to add the server side pages and add some configuration some pages we need to render from server some pages we need to render from client side then we need to come back to this file in order to modify it to facilitate us for all these features uh, currently uh, I'm not going to modify that uh, once the crash course of this angular 17 is going to get completed I will create a separate video on the pre-rendering server side rendering client side rendering static side generations then I'll come back to this file all right uh, this readme file dot uh, md specifically related to github uh, whenever we push our code to github bitbucket or gitlab or any other service provider hosting server uh, then whatever we write inside it is shown up as a description to that repository of the github this is the main file uh, which defines the definition of our website the name of our application the version and we have more properties uh, for that the initial file name that we can write to that and this is something which is very important uh, these are the key value pairs the commands to run uh, different things like this command is used to run our application locally this is to build our application for the deployment this is to build our application for watch as well uh, because on the production when we build our application and meanwhile we make some changes in the code and during those changes we want the application to rerun itself then this is what exists this is the test to run the unit test and this is the command to run our application using server side rendering and we can add more properties to it key value pairs in order to to facilitate our requirements for now in order to run our application locally we only need this particular command start all right this is the private uh, repository access and uh, then this dependencies is including the default uh, libraries the packages in order to run our angular application most of these packages are specifically by angular uh, some packages like rxjs are uh, these are the third party packages uh, by default added by our command 
for creating a new angular project and these are the dev dependencies the difference between dependencies and the dev dependencies is that the packages included in this particular key in this particular object uh, refers to th all the packages which only required during the development and the above packages inside this dependencies object are the packages which are required after uh, we build our application and deploy our application to the server so this is the main difference whenever we need new packages new npm packages then we will be adding uh, the references of those packages along with the version of those packages in this particular dependencies object or in this particular dev dependencies object object uh, this is by default created we don't create that ourselves we don't modify it as well uh, whenever we have this package.json file and we want to create package.lock.json file then we just run npm install in the terminal and this package lock file automatically gets created based upon the information we have provided in this particular file so don't touch this file uh, we don't need to modify that okay this is the angular.json file containing all the configuration related to angular how many projects we have uh, like in angular we can have multiple projects currently we only have one project that's why it is having this one object and uh, if we have to have more projects we can add that uh, that is an advanced topic i'll come back to this uh, at the end of this tutorial crash course maybe another tutorial series for this purpose okay uh, for now it is predefined we don't need to modify that until and unless we are covering up all the major topics containing uh, different components and services which i'll come back to this later uh, so uh, let's leave it like this git ignore is specifically related to git whenever we push our code to github bitbucket we have to add the reference to it that which file or folder i don't want it to be pushed currently you can see that it has this node underscore modules folder added um, node underscore modules folder automatically gets created whenever we run npm install and uh, we don't need to push this particular folder to the github that's why we have added it in this git ignore and whenever we will be creating like environment files dot env dot env dot local we will also be adding those files in git ignore because those uh, environment variables uh, are private and uh, we don't want those files to be uploaded or pushed on our github this is specifically about the vs code uh, uh, so just uh, look at this and we don't need to modify that this is the main folder uh, which containing all the major files and this particular folder contains uh, this app folder and this is where we will be uh, writing our code uh, mostly okay except uh, uh, we have to update the git ignore or few other files rest this is the main folder app one uh, which is the main folder so let's start off from the bottom inside this particular folder the source folder so the source folder contains this styles.scss file first of all so this file is currently empty it is used for writing global css or scss for your application for all of your components and this file main.tss file is the starting point of your application and it bootstrap your application with the main component app component which is by default created inside this app folder and you can say that this is the home page of your application which is by default created and when i run my application this is the home page and this design is added inside this app component.html file all right so this main.server.ts file when i enabled and asked it to create or enabled the server side rendering in my application then it created this particular file main.server.ts file to bootstrap our application with the same component app component this file index.html is also the main starting point of your application but it is specifically to the ui part and it is rendering the home component which is by default added and this app root is the tag name whenever we create a component we give it a tag name and then we can use the tag name to be loaded in our application so by default the app component with this tab name is going to be loaded within the body tag okay and if i show you 
app.component.ts and this is where I give the tag name or you can call it a selector and whatever I will write over here I have to use it in my parent component wherever I want to use that component to be loaded in our application favicon is the favicon to be added in the browser just like this all right assets or the assets folder like the images media files uh, or anything related to assets all right now let's come back to our app folder and starting off with the app dot routes dot ts uh, but first of all if you have an understanding about the previous versions of angular you might be familiar about the app dot module dot ts file in angular 17 that particular file have been removed and in app dot module dot ts file whenever we created a component whenever we wanted to enable some routes uh, different configuration imports and exports array we had to do that currently in angular 17 we don't have that we had directly have to add it in our component wherever we want to use another child component uh, there is this file uh, app.config.ts which is by default created and uh, for a different kinds of configuration like for the routes uh, this file exists here and you can see that it is enabling the routes of our application and uh, it is enabling the hydration for the application hydration means that whenever our application is fetched from the server and then the events uh, are attached to our application for example the form page or a button click page these are the events and this happens because of the hydration process all right and uh, this app route is where we will be defining all of our routes that can be the home route contact us route about us route and this is a very important file where we need to define routes of all of our applications uh, yeah so this app.config.server.ts file again this is for rendering application from the server side and this is also a very important file and here you can see that it is using the app config file to export this configuration to be used in our components now here comes the main four files of the component so whenever we create a component or by default when it gets created there are mainly four files gets created along with that so the name of our component is app currently and the name is defined by the name we define over here the class name or the selector name uh, so it has the four files for this we have the html which defines the ui we have the scss which defines the styling of our page uh, then we have the spec file this is for writing the unit test for that particular component if you don't have any understanding about unit test that is fine because that is totally different topic it will not be a part of this crash course but i will be creating a separate maybe a crash course or a video uh, that can cover the unit testing unit testing is not specific to angular it is a general concept in all the languages okay and then we have the main uh, typescript file in which we define the logic the variables the loops the functions and all these things we define in this particular file currently let's talk about this component file dot ts and here we have this component this is the decorator it is required to define a component and then we have this router outlet it is not required over here but uh, because on the home page we can have the further routes or the links from where we can navigate to other pages of the applications and when we need to define the links from one page then this particular package is required which is coming from this particular angular router or and uh, component is coming from angular core and this is how we define uh, import different packages in order to use in our application and this decorator is having the selector whenever we def uh, use this particular component in other components like i showed you in in uh, index html this is where i'm using and this is uh, the selector name standalone is a recommended way by angular to smoothly run the component and this is where we are importing the router outlet to enable routing um, then we have the template url that which uh, file the html file is the template url for this particular component means whenever we define the data in this component like the title is the data having the value in which component we want to use this particular title and this is the component name which we have provided to that it can be the template url or it can be the templates only 
when we define the templates then we can directly write the html within this uh, as a value to this key directly in this particular file rather than writing the html in a separate file and same as html we can have the styles property if we want to directly write styles in this particular file okay so now this is the unit test this is the css this is the html and this is where the router outlet is written at the end of this file and this is the reason we imported this router outlet now let's try to see what we have in the ui we have this hello one dot intro and when i try to change it like this introduction if i save this file you will see that this has been changed and uh, the reason it is being changed and how it is being used if I search it in my HTML let me search it and this is where it is written this is how we are defining the value in our HTML like this is the name of variable and whenever we use this double curly braces this is called interpolation in angular and it is fetching the value of this variable which is defined directly in its component all right uh, so that's why these files are very important for a specific uh, component so mainly in this crash course i will mostly be using three files for a component let's leave a uh, spec file and i'll be using ts file component dot uh, scss file component dot html file all right uh, now uh, this node underscore modules folder is uh, not something which you need to create it gets created automatically whenever you see an angular application deployed on github then you need to clone it and whenever you will run npm install it is going to create this node underscore modules folder and package log.json file automatically for you in your system okay um, considering the different packages which are added in dependencies object and the dev dependencies object okay so don't get confused if you don't see node modules folder or package log dot uh, json file in a new angular project uh, you just need to run npm install in your terminal and it will be created automatically this folder dot vs code is specifically to this code editor um, and uh, you don't need to worry about that this is mainly for you can say uh, debugging this launch uh, so it will enable the breakpoints if you want to debug your application you can use that this is enabling the different extensions uh, and the tasks uh, for the vs code and this particular folder dot angular it created it gets created whenever we run this npm run build command this particular folder uh, is used to deploy our application to the servers uh, using white and this enables our application pretty fast on the production all right so for this video that's pretty much it i hope that i've explained all the files and folder structure of our angular project which gets created by default uh, if you don't have uh, some if you have some confusion still uh, don't get confused because as we go along as i'll be creating more videos on different files uh, of these components then you will have a better understanding how we can work with these files see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys